So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, but to take her for the words. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take her by YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer. Joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Buck-Totem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. <clears throat> so, my friends, Ghost of Tsushima was originally released in July of 2020, a year I remember fondly as the year my grandfather finally died after I made 2,134 attempts on his life. Um, actually, I saw him in the supermarket last week. Oh, damn it! <clears throat> but today, I am actually reviewing Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, which released for my beautiful PlayStation 5 this year. Um, I hope this game doesn't have actual ghosts in it. I'm scared of ghosts. You're scared of everything! Uh, I am not scared of everything. Oh, is that a sponge I see over there? Uh, oh, no! I rest my case. Haha. <laughs> so, what is Ghost of Tsushima? Well, I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. This is an action adventure game inspired by great Japanese martial arts films like Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon and Hero and Rush Hour 1, 2, and three. Um, rush hour? Don't interrupt me, Bertram. <clears throat> this game is clearly inspired by blah 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 blah, and as such, is filled with a lot of the same tropes. A man out for revenge. A man trying to bring honor to his family by massacring as many mongos as he can. Um, mongos? Don't interrupt me, Bertram. What the hell was I even saying? Oh yes, yes. <clears throat> Bring honor to his family by massacring as many mongols as he can. Um, doesn't massacring mean our character is a bad person? Oh, absolutely not. The word massacring has the word caring in it. Therefore, our character is very caring. As he decapitates the Mongols and spills their blood and internal organs all over the damn place. This game is more bloody than Dracula on his period. So, gameplay. You will hack, slash, sneak, platform, and fart your way around a semi-open. Um, fart? Don't interrupt me, Bertram. You will hack, slash, Blah, 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 blah. Your way around a semi-open world that is rather splendid to look at. Speaking of which, this is a very pretty little game, which I'm sure all you able-sighted commoners will appreciate. Um, what about the not-so-able-sighted commoners? Well, um... Uh, they will no doubt be too busy having a lot of fun with their seeing eye dots to worry about this video game. 
Oh, I'm scared of seeing eye dogs. If you're scared of everything. Uh, I am not scared of everything. Wait, is that Boris Johnson over there? Oh, oh, oh no! Haha, -ha. I rest my case. Again. Now, like I have already said, the enemies you face in this game are the dreaded mongoos. Um, I think you mean mongols. Uh, yes. Yes, I did. The mongoos, I mean mongols, have taken over your land. And it's up to you to send these mongoos, I mean mongols, to hell. Or somewhere even worse than hell. Um, where could possibly be worse than hell? Well, uh, a few places come to mind. Your parents' house for a start. And any eating establishment that sells plant-based food. Second. Oh, I'm scared of plant-based food. Yes, you're scared of everything, Bartram. Um, I am not scared of everything. Oh, wait, is that a Teletubby over there? Oh, oh no! I rest my case for the third time. So, what else can I tell you about this game, dear viewer? Ah, uh, oh yes! Now the director's cut adds new story content, which is very much the exact same as the rest of the game. So, if you love the main game, then you'll love the added content. Oh, and there's some co-op mode thing. But as I prefer playing with myself, to playing with people online. Um, playing with yourself. Ha <laughs> ha! Shut up, Bertram. <clears throat> I didn't play the co-op mode thing. Therefore, I have absolutely no opinion on it. But I'm sure it's absolutely dreadful. So, what do I think of Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut? Well, the original version was my, I believe, ninth favourite game of last year. So I do like this game, but I don't love it. And playing the director's cut has cemented that opinion of mine. Which, as we all know, is the only opinion. I don't love the story. I don't love the combat, but I do love myself. Therefore, I'm going to give Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut a 7 out of 10. Well, haha, <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my review for Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that bloody like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Feel free to share this video with everyone you know. But, remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer. And that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram! Are you still here? Go away! I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time! No, seriously! Piss off! Be gone! Au revoir! I'll be dizzy! Bye! What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross!
cross at the top of the screen. The video is done. It's over. It's finito. It's caputo.